So, this screencast is going to show off the new VJ app for iPad. Um, it's the video equivalent of the Algorithm DJ app and it's really, really easy to use and has got some fantastic features, some of which I'm hoping to show you in this screencast. So, if we just load up a video clip, uh, there's one here, this guy dancing. Now, you can only see half of the video at the moment at the top because the crossfader down the bottom, and you can see me wiggling left and right, uh, was in the middle. So, if I move out all those to the left hand side because that's the side that the video is playing, uh, there you go. Now, we can see that the guy is dancing there. If I take my finger and just sort of do a rewind as it were spinning it round uh, anti-clockwise on that bottom left hand pane you can see if I go forward and I go backwards I can go forwards I can go backwards I can go forwards I can go backwards and that's what we get there with that effect let go and it'll just carry on doing its thing. Uh, if I add some audio onto that as well we can see and hear uh, how that effect works so here's a track now just load that in, take a moment to come through. Okay, you can hear that. And let's turn it up a little bit. There we go. Now, if I do that rewind thing again, Now there's some automation features to do that as well. If you tap the button um, from that bottom left hand pane, the right hand one with the finger moving left and right sort of effect, you get a lot of options come up. So you can put some effects on here now, so moving your finger around. That's the crush effect, because that's what's on on the effects at the top on the left hand side at the moment. There are other effects like strobe and twirl, which will do different things like that, which are just good fun. You can loop things as well. Which is all good fun. You can also do a different kind of looping on that section there. You can get the music and the video to reverse as well. You can make it all go into slow motion. And it's all really good fun. If you load up something on the other side as well, you can then move it across. You can also change the levels, and that works on the audio and on the actual video. So the video will change colour as I move, uh, but I'll get a higher frequency, like you're on a graphic equaliser with the music as well. And so you can fiddle around with all of that. What's nice as well, if I wanted to, I could record direct to the iPad by tapping the record button, that's a red icon in the middle there. You can record your whole sequence straight to your iPad. You export it through iTunes. So you've got your crossfaders in the middle. The crossfaders work for the video. That goes across. There's nothing playing at the moment though, so you can't see anything. Uh, and then for the audio there as well. There you go, basic features of VJ. Knock yourself out, it's great fun. I'm Mark Anderson, thank you very much.